Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Hi, I'm Sam at Andrews Leather. One of the questions that frequently comes up is how to fit holsters which are too tight. Can't get the gun out or can't get the gun in. And there's some simple methods that you can do at home, very easy, and avoid a lot of the rumors that go around of how you're supposed to do these, which can be damaging. Yeah, what not to do, Sam, exactly. what not to do. Exactly, <laughs> what not to do. <laughs> when holsters are new, and that mine or any other holster, sometimes there's a bit of shrinkage when they're drying, and so it's really snug on the gun. Now, you've heard people say things like put it in a plastic bag, doesn't really do very much because the bag doesn't have any thickness to speak of. What you need to do is shim it to give a little stretch to the leather. I can use all kinds of material for the shim. Corrugated cardboard off a box top works, you know, multi-folded paper can do. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, as a leather shop, I have a lot of leather around, so I'll just use one of these. There's two ways that we're going to fit this holster. If the leather itself is too tight, then we put a shim inside the holster. And in the case of using a real gun, please make sure it's unloaded, just <laughs> for the safety message. But you push the gun down into the holster with the shim, which is stretching the leather out a bit. Leave that for about five minutes. After that time, when you take the weapon out and try it without the shim, it's working much more easily. It's just given the leather that little break in, that little stretch, and you don't have to go very thick at first. Start with a thin shim. If that doesn't work, you can add another layer. We don't want to overpower and stretch it too much at the beginning. The other consideration is in any holster which has a tension retainer, something that grips onto the gun and holds it. Sometimes that tensioner is too, too close under the part of the weapon it bears on. In that case, we just use a smaller, thinner version. Again, cardboard, paper, leather, anything that won't scratch the weapon. Place that over the tensioner, then push the weapon in let that stretch it this way, same result. It's going to give you a little breathing space. After four or five minutes, check it, make sure. It works much more easily. The stretching principle works on most holsters to fit it, shouldn't be a problem. There's a lot of things out there you'll hear on how to fit a holster, and a lot of them may damage your holster. For instance, do not put it in boiling water. I've had people bring me holsters, they've tried this on, and they now have the consistency of a soda cracker and you can just snap them in half. Boiling water is right out. Uh, rubbing them down with massive amounts of mink oil, neat's foot oil, or other greases is just going to destroy the leather and make an unholy mess and is not going to help the holster fit whatsoever. So, just some simple stretching, no strange oils, unguents, potions, definitely no boiling water. In fact, you don't have to wet it at all. It's already been wet molded in the manufacturing. And that will take care of any extra tight holsters. Uh, that takes care of fitting tight holsters. If you want to see more videos on how they're made or various demonstrations of our designs, check them out on the Hank Strange channel and we'll see you there. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.